Ireland is a, is a hotspot for biodiversity of seaweeds. We have about 630 species in Ireland. Globally, there are about 10,000 species. Now, in Ireland, of those 625 plus species, there is about 20, 25 that are commercially utilized. Some are edible, others are used in cosmetics or in, in feed ingredients. And of those 25, we have actually been selecting species that have certain bioactive properties. So they contain something in the seaweed that has a beneficial effect in our case, animals. So we feed those seaweeds to the animals and we see the effect in the animals, which could be better growth, healthier, better immune system, but that's how we select our species. Okay, well, we just did a little dive here in uh, Spiddel at the beach. There is plenty of seaweed and because it's temperate, temperatures of the water are lower than, for example, the tropics, seaweeds really can grow up to quite, quite a size. And I just collected a couple of species that I think are interesting and also that are species that we use in our own manufacturing. One of them is the sugar kelp or Saccharina latissima. It's a big brown seaweed, beautiful and it's very sweet. We use that in several mixes because of the sweet taste. Animals like that, sugary. This species is uh, Fucus vesiculosus. At the moment it is fertile because what you see at the end of the tips are the fruiting bodies. And if you actually squeeze them, there is some gel coming out of that. And that is a very nice gel to use in cosmetic applications. This species is called uh, Hymantelia elongata, which is the Latin name. And the common name is sea spaghetti. And you can see why they call it spaghetti, because it looks like spaghetti. And actually, you can use this in a spaghetti dish as well, if you chop it up. Uh, and, and uh, pickle it a little bit and then you can use it in a lot of different dishes. It's nice to eat. Another famous Irish species is Laminaria digitata or common name called kelp. It's been used in the past as well to basically burn this to an ash and the ash was done in kilns. And what they would do with the ash, it had a high concentration of potash and that would be either used for agricultural applications or it was also used in the glass and soap making industry in the past. Later on they discovered alginates. Alginates are one of the carbohydrates in the seaweed and they are act as thickeners. They are in your toothpaste, they are in confectionery, they are in all kinds of products and things. And there's a big industry in France and in Norway where they actually extract these alginates and use them for all kinds of food purposes. Unfortunately in Ireland we don't have that industry. Actually to, to start an industry here in Ireland with kelp would be very simple because we have about 10 million tons standing stock around the coast of Ireland. About 100,000 to 200,000 tons washes up every year. Nobody does anything with it. And it is a very beneficial and a very valuable seaweed. You can easily set up a factory which processes this, dries this and make value added products out of it. Our own alginate industry. I, I still don't understand why we don't have that. Because we don't have to reinvent the wheel. What keeps me going is uh, I like seaweed. I've always been in seaweed. And I finally actually made a company that is thriving on seaweed. It's, it's, it's rather unique in a way and, and nobody is still doing this. And just seeing that I can help a farmer, but also help the consumer in the end, 
to get a better product, which is actually like a functional food. It's healthy for them to eat instead of what he was eating before. For me, that gives uh, great satisfaction.